Hello witches. Okay, I'm getting pretty upset right now. I've tried to make this video now, I think six times, and every single time I make it, somebody calls me, texts me, Skypes me, or a motorcycle goes by, or somebody starts drilling. So, yeah. So hopefully maybe this video will be made eventually sometime today. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who's been messaging me and leaving comments on my videos. Um, you guys are just so kind and so supportive. Um, I love this community so much. Um, I've been going through some really awful crap the last couple weeks. And um, it means a lot to me to hear you guys be so loving and kind and supportive. And um, this YouTube community really does keep me going in many ways. So um, it's really hot here in Massachusetts. It's in the 90s. I know you guys down in like Florida and um, Arizona, Texas and all that. You probably think it's not hot at all, but up here we're all putting our air conditioners on and everything. And I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. So I wanted to make this video um, on the notes that I've taken for the last few weeks of Runes 101. Um, those of you who are on the Facebook um, Runes 101 course know that week one was Thurisaz. Um, Thurisaz is known as a thorn. Um, it's also associated with uh, giants, the strong one, resistance, uh, the god Odin, um, unconscious forces, sociological forces, um, the destruction caused by natural forces like uh, storms and such. Um, I had a dream of um, violent tornadoes and trying to protect my children from uh, getting sucked out by the tornadoes. Um, conflicts, disputes, male sexuality. <laughs> that, there's a mosquito on the screen right now. That's what that mark is. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Um, thorn of Awakening. It's also can be used in magic as a breaker of resistance and an active defensive force. Um, it's a reactive, directed force, uh, constructive conflict, danger, betrayal, dullness, disease, annoyance, and strife. Um, this is probably why at the end of the week, most of us were feeling very cranky, frustrated, and we just wanted the week to be over and to move on to another room. Um, I know I felt that way, and... Many of the videos I saw um, by you guys seemed to indicate the same thing. Um, this rune governs the destruction of enemies, awakening of your will to action, which um, I think is a really great one to use it for. Um, it breaks with the resistance of blockages in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit. Um, this is really um, a good thing to do and to use this for. Um, it's used also for increased potency and prowess, prowess in relationships, um, aiming the use of your psychic force. Um, it also is associated with combination of left and right brain. Um, when you can combine the male and female aspects and um, the left-right side of your brain, um, it can create powerful realization because... Um, your left right brain is usually um, separate, but it's like a union of the two um, types of thinking. Um, okay, Thurisaz is a warrior that combines consciousness and wisdom with force. So um, you have your wisdom, and when you use um, you know aggressive force. Uh, that creates a powerful um, destructive or protective force. Um, it's an enemy to unconsciousness and brute violence. It doesn't like violence that's um, just out of anger or spite or any of that. And it's, um, it's associated with the god Thor, who is a champion of courage and um, freeing humans. He wants humans to have freedom and um, this god is known as the ultimate physical fighting force. But he doesn't physically fight just for no reason. 
Um, he, he does it for wise and um, honorable reasons. Thursaz is a fertility rune in that it breaks down barren, hard, rocky surfaces, rocky, hard realms into workable, sto workable soil. So, you know, you have soil filled with rocks and weeds. Um, he's able to make the soil so that it will be fruitful once again. Um, also, this can be used for women who are unfertile. Um, it will create a fertile womb. Um, it's also so associated with tools and technology, weapons of protection, especially against forces detrimental to the expansion of consciousness, as signified by Degas, which is the next rune, I believe. Um, let's see if I had anything else to say about Thursdays. Mm -mm -mm. It's also known as the Hammer of Thor, the Vexing Thorn. Um, and that's about all for Thursdays. Okay, the second rune for week two was Dagaz, or Dagaz, I don't know exactly how to say it. Um, that this rune has been used for a long, 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 long time, thousands of years ago, to represent day and light, the dawn, awakening. Um, it's the rune of hyper-consciousness, the process of becoming, becoming realized, becoming enlightened, um, enlightenment, the twilight and dawn polarity. Um, twilight and dawn are basically the same thing. They're opposites, but they're the same. So um, it represents that, like, that uh, being on the horizon and the polarity associated with that. Um, Non-dual reality, unity, synthesis. I think this is a really beautiful thing. Um, for divination, it's used for awakening, awareness, and a paradigm shift. Um, it, it's used for the reception of mystical inspiration. This is given as a gift by the god Odin. Um, similar to what I said about Thurisaz, this rune is particularly used for the synthesis of light, left brain, left, I can't speak today, left, right brain integration, um, making the male, female aspects of um, how your brain works into one complete being, um, so that these two uh, types of thinking are united now, um, which can allow you to have um, real spiritual awakening and give you a lot of wisdom. Man, these mosquitoes are like killing me now. Um, Degas is counterpart to the rune Jera. Jera is more gentle change, but Degas is a uh, bold change, a burst of light and illumination. Kind of like, ow, when you um, see the light bulb, when somebody suddenly gets an idea in a cartoon, it's that type of um, realization and change. It's been used over 4,000 years to represent light. Um, it has do dominion over the union of light, left, right, left, right brain functions, which is a great tool for awareness and growth. Um, it's the center of two extremes, where the state of mind is undisturbed. If you can get those two extremes and those two um, left, right brains to work together, um, it's like the calm in the middle of a storm, like when you go in the middle of a tornado and it's calm and peaceful in the middle. At the center, all power is found. You no longer need right or wrong to answer the mysteries and truth. You, you don't need a specific answer for right or wrong or a specific truth. Um, many truths can exist complementary to each other. No one belief or viewpoint is enough. All truth resounds in the absolute stillness of the silent questioning mind. If you look deep enough in um, any religious, um, uh, you know, documents, books, whatever, Bibles, um, you can find truth. If you really are searching with a quiet mind, you'll find the truth in things and be able to accept that rather than to quarrel over um, 
There's other little discrepancies about things. Daga's enlightenment leads to disappearance. To understand existence, you need its opposite, which is non-existence. Um, I thought that was a really cool part of it. Um, there's no um, Futhark or Futhark runes. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Um, for for the word night or the moon, these are not things. They are absences of something. Darkness is a quality of light. The moon's light is a reflection of the sun's light. Darkness is not darkness. Um, pondering on this, darkness is not dark. Darkness will teach that there is no true opposites, or as we are often told, only polarities within existence. I thought that was really cool. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's all I will do for now. Um, and maybe I will make another video later on Isis or something. Um, there were some things in my moon book I also um, wanted to talk about. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and blessed be. Bye.